Formula 1 is in a bit of pickle because of the global coronavirus pandemic. Like many sporting codes, it too had to implement cost-saving measures to ensure its immediate survival. What's up guys, Formula News here, and today we'll be looking at three teams that are at the risk of leaving Formula 1 due to the global pandemic. Let's get started. From next year onwards, a budget cap will be introduced that will see teams having to compete a full season with only $145 million at their disposal. This is $30 million less than the original amount set in 2019 before COVID-19 came into play. While the budget cap is a good thing, it still leaves some teams in an awkward position with regards to the 2020 season. Though the season is yet to get underway, some have expressed concern that they've lost millions in revenue, most notably television income. We look at three teams that could fold because of the financial implications brought about by COVID-19. Let's start with the most notable team, Williams. Williams has been picking up the F1 scraps for several years and is desperately looking to regain a competitive foothold in the sport. Having last won a race in 2012, eight years since the 2004 victory in Spain, the team has been going backwards at a drastic pace. Earlier this month, Williams announced the team was for sale and they are seriously looking at a change of the card. Former Williams driver Ralph Schumacher supported this decision saying the current management style was not befit a modern F1. It has emerged that several serious offers to purchase the team are on the table, but it remains to be seen if this will save the team from disappearing from F1. Over the course of 736 F1 races, Williams scored 114 victories, 128 pole positions, 243 podium finishes, and 9 constructors championships. Last year, Williams finished the season in dead last. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, then make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more Formula 1 headlines. Anyways, let's get on with the video. Next up is the Haas F1 team. Haas is the youngest team on the grid, having joined the sport in 2016. In its debut season, the team performed exceptionally well but failed to build on their success in the subsequent years. With accident-prone Roman Grosjean and Kevin Magnussen behind the wheel, the duo often cost the team points due to unnecessary mistakes, especially on Grosjean's part. Having slipped down the pecking order and seeing performance going backward, despite sharing technical know-how with F1 powerhouse Ferrari, team owner Gene has expressed his intention of pulling his team from F1. Gene has believes the performance gap to the top three teams is just too big and he's not prepared to fight in the midfield. With the proposed budget cap coming into play next year, Haas might reconsider. However, COVID-19 and the loss of revenue could see him taking the high road and leaving the sport without incurring any more financial losses. And lastly, Renault F1. The Renault F1 team has been knocking on the competitiveness door but can't seem to get an answer. In 2018, they acquired the service of Daniel Ricciardo but even that could not lift them from the doldrums. And with COVID-19 causing massive havoc all around Europe, the French government, who owns 15% of Renault, said they would be re-evaluating their involvement with the automaker. That immediately left Renault on the back foot, but both with road cars and motorsport involvement. While team boss Cyril Abitbo said Renault F1 could continue, one can't help but get the sense that just like in the past, Renault will suddenly and abruptly end their involvement in the sport. Will Renault survive the adverse effects of COVID-19? Only time will tell. And lastly, here's some news. Helmut Marko has said that Vettel won't be dictated to by Ferrari. Ferrari could have a struggle on its hands this season trying to bring Sebastian Vettel into line, says Helmut Marko. The 2020 championship will be the four-time world champion's final season with Ferrari having announced last month that the two no longer have a common desire to work together. That the announcement came before the first race of the season was a surprise to rival bosses with Mercedes as Total Wolf saying several times that was not a call he could have made. Red Bull advisor Marco reckons it could cause a few headaches with Vettel potentially unwilling to play the team game. The Austrian also weighed in on why he believes Vettel has walked away from Ferrari. After 5 years at Ferrari without a world title, 2020, at least according to the test timesheet, does not look as if it will be the year to yield a 5th crown for Vettel. 
Ferrari struggled in testing, prompting many at the team to concede the start of the 2020 championship to be a difficult one. Marco would like to see Vettel head to Mercedes, although the Brackley squad has told Valtteri Bottas that the German is not in contention for his race seat. But whether that is just for 2021 or forever, Marco reckons Vettel could sit out next year's campaign and return in 2022 to a winning team. And that's been today's video. If you don't want to miss out on any Formula 1 news, then please hit that like and subscribe button for more top-notch F1 reports and insights. Apart from that, I hope you enjoyed the video, hope you an awesome day, until next time, goodbye.